In this video, we will explain two units from the FIA AO's qualification pathways, the health and safety unit and the environmental unit. We'll help you understand what topic areas you'll study, how you're assessed, and what other units you can study en route to achieving your full qualification in fire detection alarm systems. We'll also explain what units you must study before taking those two units and the rules regarding recognised prior learning that may mean that you may not have to complete them. The health and safety unit and the environmental unit are to be studied on the qualification pathway after taking and passing the foundation unit. It does not matter which order these units are taken, all you need to remember is that the foundation unit is taken first. You can watch our other video about the foundation unit by clicking the link below. Each unit is a one day course and is run throughout the year at locations across the UK. Training is delivered in a classroom by professionals within the fire industry who have a background of both training and extensive technical expertise. So you're in safe hands. At the end of the day, you'll leave with a handbook as a valuable reference source for when you return to the workplace. Okay, so let's have a look at the health and safety unit first. This course covers a range of health and safety topics. The difference being that we have tailored the course content towards those working within the fire detection alarm sector. There are eight areas within the syllabus and all of these are assessed. Throughout the course, all the areas are covered by the trainers and more extensive notes are available in the course handbook. The eight areas of study are health and safety legislation, manual handling, working at heights, loan workers, pure, PPE, asbestos and COSH. Each area is given sufficient detail that will help broaden your knowledge and understanding, enabling you to effectively manage all of these areas of health and safety, ensuring safe working practices. The exam is the ECS exam. As with all exams taken with us on the qualification pathway, the exam is taken digitally on a tablet. The FIA awarding organisation the Ofqual registered examination body behind the fire detection qualifications recognise this as a pass for the health and safety unit. So now you know all about the health and safety unit, let's move on and look at the environmental unit. This unit also has eight areas of study. These are number one, environmental law, two, restriction of the use of certain hazardous substances in electrical and electronic equipment, three, waste electrical and electronic equipment, four, waste management, five, energy consumption, six, Ionising radiation regulations, seven, F gas, and number eight, ozone depleting substances. How does this benefit you? Well, it's simple. The knowledge and understanding you'll gain will help you maintain your compliance with environmental law. Both of these units have recognised prior learning attributed to them, and you may not need to complete them in order to achieve your qualification. If you have either the NEBOSH National General Certificate in Occupational Health and Safety or an INDATE ECS Health and Safety Assessment Certificate, you'll have achieved the standard necessary to be awarded a pass for the Health and Safety Unit. For environmental, the NEBOSH Certificate in Environmental Management plus the FAA course FGAS Certification for Service Technicians plus the FIA course Critical Uses of Halon will be recognised as a pass, but you must hold all three. The key thing to remember is that your recognised prior learning must be in date at the time that your FIA qualification is awarded. 
For both of these units, if you believe you hold recognised prior learning, you must notify the FI team so that you have this recorded on our system. Following the completion of these courses or your notification to the FI team of your recognised prior learning, you may either have fully completed your qualification or be ready to take your final specialist advanced unit. This could be in either design, installation, maintenance or commissioning. Just to be clear, it really doesn't matter which order you take the units within the qualification pathway, so long as you've taken the foundation first. If you would like to find out more about what the course covers, click the link below to download the full syllabus or download the prospectus by clicking the link in the top right. And we look forward to having you in one of our classes soon.